What's going on guys? It's your boy CMB. Back in the building. Back with another video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get into this really quickly guys. I have somewhat of a tragic, uh, kind of a weird story to share with you guys about a female boxer. Uh, she goes by the name of Vivian Obanoff and uh, she's been accused of beating her husband to death. Now, I'm, I wasn't familiar with her, so I kind of I put up a box rec here uh, to, you know, familiarize myself and you guys as well uh, with this female boxer. And uh, I got to say, she's a beautiful woman, guys. But uh, she started her professional career in 2014. Uh, she retired uh, 2019, last year, of course. Uh, she was 14 and 6. She fights in the super featherweight division, uh, orthodox fighter. She's only 34 years old. Uh, resident is Switzerland. And I think she fought Katie Taylor once. Let me... Yeah, she fought Katie Taylor uh, back in 2016 uh, in Manchester, looks like. So guys, I'm going to pull up the article uh, here about uh, Vivian. It's in the New York Post. And I want to read this uh, over to you guys. All right, so it says, Pro boxer Vivian Obanoff suspected of beating husband to death. A former professional boxer is a prime suspect in the bludgeoning murder of her husband whose body was found inside their apartment in Switzerland. Brazil-born uh, bruiser Vivian Obanoff, 34, is, sus is suspected of clobbering her husband with a blunt object inside of the home that they shared. She was arrested last week after the victim, identified only as 61-year-old Thomas, was found dead of massive injuries sustained during a violent assault, Swiss police said. Now, I heard the guy was very wealthy. And they only have his first name here. I don't know why uh, they don't have his last name. Like I said, uh, he was only identified as Thomas, uh, 61, years, 61 years old. And that's a big age gap. You know, she's 34, he's 61. So, you know, you got to kind of question that just a little bit. And he's wealthy. Obanoff, who fought in three world title bouts during her career, held a 14-6 and six record in two uh, World Boxing Federation international titles before she retired last year. So, yeah, we went over that in her box rec, of course, guys. She got married to uh, Thomas on January 25th and opened a gym in the Swiss town of Interlaken, where she lived with her husband, the owner of a restaurant there. So he was a restaurant owner. Police were spotted searching the gym as well as the couple's apartment located above uh, Thomas Eatery. I guess that's the restaurant that he owns. They said that the former featherweight has been arrested at least once before for allegedly punching a man who tried to grope her as she celebrated her 30th birthday in London in 2016. Now, that that's understandable, you know. Guys shouldn't go around putting their hands on women uh, if they don't want you to. Uh, I can understand why she would, you know, punch that guy. They said she spent several hours in jail on the night of that incident. And here it says... A man who, who dated her previously said that uh, she had to, she always had two faces. It's like flicking a switch, he said. He said he wasn't surprised that she was back behind bars. Wow. Let's see if I can get anything else on her, guys. I don't see anything else here. But wow, guys, this is a this is a tragic story. If this is true, uh, it's in the New York Post, so I'm sure there's something to it. And uh, it's just crazy, man. That the age difference. Uh, you know, a lot of times women marry older guys like that. They're you know they're looking for a guy to take care of them. Maybe 
Uh, not saying that's always the case, you know, they could have been in love. Uh, I heard that uh, people said that they were happy together, but uh, this isn't looking good for her. Uh, if she's been arrested for this and she's suspected by the police of doing this, then, you know, they must have some type of... Uh, some type of evidence linking her to, you know, to his death. So this is tragic news. Like I said, you know, I just wanted to share it with you guys because, you know, it was a boxer that's involved in this. And uh, I'm hoping it's not true for her sake. Uh, but, but if it is, then, you know, she should be punished for, you know, killing her husband. That's, that's just... That's just way out there, man. It's just crazy. But uh, uh, tell me what you guys think about this situation with Vivian Obanoff, guys. Uh, pro boxer, man. Beautiful female accused of killing her husband. Wow. All right, guys. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.